I have two questions um, based upon the story you've mm. just told. But the first one is, are you then a railway man or a cowboy? Uh -huh. What are you? Oh, um, who did you sympathize with more? That's well. I think that you know. I always there's a song on on my on my uh, on my record. Um, this record has Train Man and Railroad Man on it, but the Train Man is Casey Jones. Casey Jones is the the, the ultimate Train Man, you know, in American history. He drove his train faster than anybody. And when it was time, when the train was running behind schedule, they get Casey Jones and he would drive it. But he uh, he drove it too fast and it went around a curve and, and the train shot off the tracks and he was scalded to death by the steam, you know. And um, and he's he's a he's he is a symbol both of like individual like individualism and of you know pride and and also in the effects of pride sometimes, you know, like. That he he believed he he could do it, but you know, in the end, he kind of ran up against the wall. So I think, like you know, at both times, I think about myself like that. You know, you've got to you've got to be your own person every day. At the end of the day, to like to do to make music and to stand on stage and to you know to write for anybody to do anything well, they have to like they can't they can't be you can't be somebody's master and do everything. You know, do everything to your own liking. You have to do something to your own liking. You have to be your own person, you know. You know, you can't you can't write about religion and, and and you can't write freely about God and and be worried that God is going to smite you, you know what I mean? So I think that like, you know, I I basically I, I what I what I relate to in in, in both those characters and cowboy or a train man is just like is the is the individualism, you know. Okay. And, but that also comes with some drawbacks because you, there is such a thing as like overreaching, you know, and uh, and uh, pride coming before the fall, you know. Do you do you now know when you're well bounded to overreach? I, I'm sure that 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 sort of thing comes, but you have to if you're like you have to overreach. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think that's for sure. And I mean, and of course, like. There's big and small versions of that, like, you know, there's the overreaching, like, you know, imperialism, you know, that's so big that, like, but, I mean, if you're just overreaching in a song, I think it's all right, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, well, you were saying um, just every album that you just, well, you, it's based on your experiences, mm -hmm. uh, not trying to write about one specific thing, but just let it go. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what you've learned from your, uh, well, um, study. Yeah. Uh, studies, I mean. Um, you were saying, well, in in hindsight, you can tell, well, what it what it means, wh yeah. what it meant to you. What 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 does what do the animal years mean to you now? If you look back on that. Well, in the same way, what do, what can you tell about the album now? I think that, you know, and that one's still like. Or is it still too? Well, it's. I think what I th I think. I think for me, a lot of it was stuff was was about was about getting for animal years. It was about getting past a uh, a uh, fear of writing about certain things. You know, I wanted to. I don't. I don't think of myself as like as any particular sort of writer. I wanted to write about all kinds of things, and I I, I wanted to like prove to myself that I could write about you know the world. And, and my own problems with America without sacrificing my kind of love for the place, you know? I wanted to learn about how to write about something really subtly that really mattered to me. 